What's going on guys? Kevin here, back again with a, another video here to talk about a pair of shoes that I got a little bit ago, ugh, a little bit ago, um, and I just haven't done a review on it. Uh, my apologies. I, yeah, I've been slacking. Um, this pair did kind of excite me just because it's a new model and it's actually from Joe Fresh Goods. It is the 9060 in the baby shower blue color. Um, so packaging, very, very cool. It's like all smoky and our imaginations are speaking. I personally like this color better than the, I think it was Penny Cookie Pink was the other color. Um, I just wasn't a fan of that color. I did like the green that they used in it. Um, I do wish that they had, oh man, that would have been sick if they had a pair that was like all that green. That would have been sick. But the insoles here, uh, the only reason I rarely use the actual OG factory insoles is just because one, a lot of the times the print rubs off. Two, usually they're not that comfortable and they usually have more comfortable insoles anyways. So here the shoe is a very, very unique model. Definitely reminds me of a fusion between the 990 V4 and the Yeezy 500. So the 990 V4 for the upper and the Yeezy 500 for this like boldest outsole. So very, very unique shoe. Uh, it is covered with both mixes of long hair and short hair suede, uh, as well as very, very thick, um, wide gauge uh, mesh. I did do uh, a lace swap. So this isn't the original lace that comes on the shoe, but uh, it was one of the additional laces. And here the shoe is. I think it's a very interesting shoe. Oh, that would have been cool if like, instead of this white, it was the green or instead of this gray it was the green that would have been a cool uh color addition or instead of the pink oh i'm just thinking of all this stuff uh so it has 9060 tab right there and here's what i mean this is more of a short haired and this is quite thick this is a very long haired suede it says the voices on one side with a very thick embroidered and inside voices right there it has jfg joe fresh goods and yeah that's pretty much it about the shoe i do like the double application of the suede i thought that's really cool um the tongue has new balance 9060 i know that there is another few colorways coming out i think there's a seesaw colorway and then like an all black colorway that's in collaboration with M moala moala sorry i'm definitely pronouncing that wrong but i'll put it up somewhere on screen. They did show it off for Paris Fashion Week. Um, so yeah, very nice quilted inner lining. Right here it says, made for us. And I got this in a US eight and a half. I go true to size on almost every sneaker in eight and a half and pretty much everything. And these fit fine with me. Again, another very, very like wide gauge uh, netting on this the tongue even more probably more breathability very very nice uh, suede lace holder as well overall the quality of the material is very very nice although this is not made in the u.s but this is one of their newest models that uh to be released underneath this new generation of new balance creators i know that the 990 v6 is was slated to come out last year but i think it's been pushed sometime this year uh, pairs have been constantly being like slowly seeded out to people, but that's the, I think, next new model, I believe. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about the 9060? Do you think it has the staying power to become like one of those uh, big New Balance pillars to really stand on like the 550? Uh, I personally think it is a cool collaboration, but a part of me just doesn't feel like this has that staying power um, like some other shoes do. I personally would like it, but I don't think the general populace itself would like really latch onto this and like buy GR colorways of 9060s. Um, I can see the first few doing well, but I don't think this will be, be persistent like the 550 because the 550, a lot simpler shoe. This one, it's a little bit hard and a little bit, um, I guess like unorthodox of a sole and 
Um, I guess it really depends on how New Balance is playing it. Uh, they have yet to release any GR colorways on the 9060, and the next colorway to be slated is that new collaboration, like I said, the all black one. Um, I do think that they have potential. Uh, it really depends on how well they play this out and, and if they can get it to become a super desirable model. Uh, this Baby Shower Blue is the cheaper of the two, uh, even though this one was Joe Fresh Goods exclusive. Uh, I think that the main reason for that one is one, I think it's primarily because people who bought it from Joe Fresh Goods website, a lot of them bought it to resell. Um, so uh, they were just trying to sell that off as well as the Penny Cookie Pink. I do think people think it's a more cohesive color pattern where uh, the baby blue and the pink mesh contrast a bit too much for some people, but I personally love, love, love this blue that's on it. It's like a very nice powder blue. Um, so yeah, if I wasn't wearing the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe, uh, I would be wearing these heavy. I would also be wearing the Casina Air Max ones heavy, like all that stuff. But right now I'm trying to wear test the general purpose shoe or sneaker. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about the 9060. Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it has staying power or do you think it's just another flash in the pan like the 327s or um, that uh, the Jaden Smith like vision shoe. So I forgot to mention that they come with four different laces, which is really nice. All the laces are very, very high quality, uh, very, very thick knit, uh, not waxed, but it has a very like distinct texture, like a very hard texture to it. So it comes with a pure white, a kind of like a nude pink, which was uh, originally on the shoe when it came laced up. It's like a nude pink, almost like a, like a creamy peach color. And then a very, very hot pink uh, that matches the color of the sole. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.